Nice square butt. Hey, the amazing Rando. Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind. What's up, rascals? Welcome to Lonely Things. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking. Rando, you've already played this. Well, you'd be half right. I played the demo a few months back, but now we have the full version, and boy, oh boy, am I excited to show it to ya. Am I? Yeah, yeah, I am. So, without further ado, let's begin, shall we? We've already seen the introduction, so, eh, no. Ooh. It's a little bit brighter now. Hey, look! A payphone! Maybe... Oh, ripped out. Of course, why not? There's more to the porch, even. And it's much brighter. I can actually see what's going on. So, let's head on in, and, um... Oh! Look at this! The whole layout's been changed, and it's, it's way brighter now. They've added lights, and your eyes are still creepy, lady. Hi. Evening, honey. Oh, uh, well, uh, forgetting that. <laughs> Never mind. What can I do for you? Uh, I'd like a room, please. A room? I already finished the books for tonight, though. Uh, so should I just sleep in my car? Because there's no other way. I like this. They've got options now. <laughs> No, it's freezing out there. I'm being rude. You can take room 12. We can settle up in the morning. It saves me pulling everything out again. Right on! Okay, cool. All right, so. Ooh, I think. Hello. Nice square butt. <laughs> There's much more detail now that there's actual lights everywhere and I can see what's in the main hall and all that good stuff. I think this is the door I want. Yeah? Please? Whoa. Whoa, what the? Okay. Interesting. Whoa, whoa! What's with the flicker? What's with- and also, what's the- It's cool that they changed the layout, but I don't get the point of this pillar here that actually does nothing? Maybe there's rooms? Yeah, the, okay, there's boarded up rooms, but there's rooms! Oh, yeah! There's a room, and a window. Okay, it makes sense now. <laughs> oh. Alrighty, unlocked the room. Let's go on in. Ah, oh, it's a lot less simplistic now. I've even got my own bathroom. Huzzah! Can I enter the shower? No? It's just for show? Alright. Cool. Ah, excuse me. Taking a whiz. Ah. Now then. For the sleep? That is a... What's the point of a window being that high? Can't see out it. Unless I stand on the chair, and that's rude. Anyway, sleep on the mattress since they didn't put any... Oh, this is new. This table is set for two. Hello? Hello? Okay. Okay, here's the note. The bar is open. Grace wants some company. Your car is gone now. Bastards. Stealing my car! Without my permission! <laughs> That's not cool. 
All right, so it's the music of creepiness coming on. Of course, the music hasn't changed, and why should it? It wasn't that bad. It set the tone pretty well, in fact. So that's all good. And these guys with the creepy pale faces and the yellow eyes, like they've got jaundice. I think I mentioned that in the last playthrough of this too, in the demo. But anyway, <laughs> looks like something's troubling you. What's on your mind? I think my car has been stolen. Stolen? You sure? Wow, I guess that makes you stranded, huh? I didn't even notice this before, but Maybe I didn't, I don't remember, but, uh, dude is kind of a dick. Could you ask the manager? You could ask the manager about it, although, what's you, what you on your mind? Where's the manager? No clue. The less I see of him, the better. He's a grumpy old bastard. He bothers my grace, too. His office is upstairs, but it's always locked. Do you know someone called Grace? Grace, she's my special lady. I've been waiting for her right... I'm waiting for her right now. She's usually in the bar around this time, but I haven't seen her come, in to come down. You stay away from her. She doesn't need any more trouble with other men. Okay. See you around. I'll be stalking soon. to the bar. Ooh. They've added to the bar. They've made this area darker, but they've added a stage. Can I come up here and play the piano? No, but I can look at it. It's all fancy and grand. Or maybe it's a baby grand. I don't know. But yeah. This guy... I'm not going to bother talking to him because I already know the dialogue. If you want to know what he says, you can see the demo version. I've, this is all just repeat at this point. But... It's all well and good. Because this is going to be the new stuff for the new people and the new things. And blah, 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 blah. What am I talking about? I don't know. Anyway... Let's let's pretend that our mission is to find our car, so we can come down here and yeah. There's a flashlight down here, and we go strafe. Hi, tall man. Hi. What are you up to? Whoa! I can actually approach this bitch. What happened? I don't think that's supposed to happen. Oh! I glitched it out. <laughs> okay. Alright. So, I got a flashlight now. I can see in the dark. Sort of. Alright. So. Switchums you. Switchums you. And now we switch them you and oh voila we got the office door of mystery let's head in shall we oh mr. manager man why are you in a creepy carved out hallway of evil why did I get turned around so badly ah doing whoa wow Controls are like super twitchy, so I gotta watch out. But it's the man's office. Okay, take you, gimme, take you. Room nine. What do I need in room nine? I don't know. Hello. Oh, really? I can. I don't know the combination, so... Not the right code. Okay, well... Poopy. I, I'll come back to you later. I 
I, I must find the code. I will find the code. Well, eventually. Hopefully. That'd be nice. But anyway. Before we leave this area, let's pop in to see... Oh, you can open her bathroom now. Oh, pleasant. That seems a little bit odd, but... Okay. Toilet. Why am I so obsessed with the toilets? I don't know. Hello. Hello. Who the hell are you? Sorry, I must be lost. Well, this is my room, so you're definitely in the wrong place. I'm looking for my car? And you thought it was in here? Some story. I was hoping the manager could help. If he isn't in his office, I don't really have any idea where he'd be. Hmm. Him? I met a woman when I arrived. The only people I... The only people who work here are Terrence and me, and the bartender. But the bartender didn't show up this week, so I guess he quit. Um... I don't want to sound rude. That seems like a rude question. This... Let's find out what is she, how she responds to it. If you work here, help me find my car? I clean the rooms. I don't look for cars in the middle of the night. Did you want something else? I'd really rather be alone right now. What do you make of Joe? That's the creepy guy that we met in the lobby. Just some creep. Yep. <laughs> That's all she has to say about it. Nope. Sorry to bother you. Okay, bye. Oh, hey. I'm gonna need that. Take the lighter. You saw nothing. I'm gonna go ahead and head on out. Because I need to grab some stoof. Because I've already got... Ooh. Ooh. Atmospheric. All right. So... Next thing to do, check out room nine, because there is something we need there, but we'll save that for the next episode. Hope you guys are enjoying this. Hope you guys stick around to see more. If you like this, you know what to do. Give that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below. I'd love to know what you think about what's going on so far and what might happen next. But I will see you guys in the next episode. Hopefully, it'll amaze.